Hey guys, uh, still in Vegas, and I want to talk to you today about the difference between building a transactional business and building a brand. So transactional is where you might use, and I'm really sort of specifically talking in terms of digital marketing here. So here you might use things like paid advertising, paid social, paid search, Google AdWords, all those kind of things to, tra to get a transaction, i.e. to get a sale. Um, so you pay for that advert, that advert clicks through to your website, someone can buy something on it or inquire and hopefully that ends up in a sale. Transactional. Um, the trouble with transactional is that when the front part of the funnel starts to change, so it gets more expensive, more competitive, maybe it disappears entirely because that service is pulled from somewhere, you're completely reliant on that. And that's a massive problem. Because if your business is reliant on that kind of transactional digital marketing, big issue. The other end of the scale is all about brand building. So this is either personal brand building, either you as a director or your staff, um, and your company's brand building as well, so that you attract people to you. And for me, both of those areas have a, a, a big, important um case to be made for them but don't get caught up just doing one of them in fact you could probably do the brand building bit as long as you don't need the sales earlier on because ultimately most businesses need sales to be able to carry on and do the brand building bit but i focused very very heavily on the brand building side of things at optics um, and myself as well which is why i do things like this uh, i have my own blog i'm very prolific on social media it's all for a reason. It's all to build a brand where I position myself as an expert in certain areas so that when people need a service or need some advice about digital marketing or entrepreneurship or whatever it might be, I am one of the first people on their lips. So are you building a brand or are you merely creating a lot of transactions? And if you are creating transactions, are you protected against what might happen the other side of that if things change? And things will change. I mean, I know a lot of people who have entirely shifted their budgets away from Google AdWords into social media advertising these days because the awareness, the interest has changed. It's, it's swapped from one to the other. And Google AdWords has become very competitive and quite costly as well. So if your business is reliant on those things, then perhaps you need to start thinking about other areas and how that might impact your business. Not necessarily in the next six months, but in the next year, two years, five years, maybe even 10 years. So I hope that's useful, guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs>